my YouTube. It's Blade Obsession back. Just going to show you a couple of my favorite EDC fixed blade knives. These are the Cold Steel Tonto Light. And I've had this one a long time. That's why it has the old nylon sheath. It's still a pretty good sheath. but <coughs> And then this is the Outdoorsman Light. Which is more of a more esque type sheath. Uh, and it says cold still, so that's nice. And I think it has a drain hole, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yep, it does have a drain hole, as you can see. So I kind of like this sheath better. But like I said, this one's older. I've had this one probably for maybe four years something like that so anyway I'm going to pull them out they are both using German 4116 stainless steel although the outdoorsman light when I bought it it said 4034 stainless steel which is supposed to be the new steel which is supposed to be slightly better resistant at resisting the elements. I don't know if it's that much better. I'll show you the pommels. They both have the same rubberized grip. They're both super comfortable. This one's got more of a plastic butt on the pommel. Though. And this one, as you can see now, they're using a full tang. And it's fairly thick. So, but yeah, there's the. Let's try to get it in there. Outdoors and light. I think they're both made in Taiwan. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're both in Taiwan. So, I'm not really sure if I had to pick between the one of the two of them. I'm not sure which one I'd pick. They're both very comfortable to hold in the hand. So that's something I didn't think about. I didn't check the blade thickness. The blade stuck. Well, something I just did notice is this one has jimping on the outdoorsman light. So that's a nice feature. But I really don't think they're that much thicker. Either one is thicker than the other. But the Tanto one would probably for sure have a better time at punching through car doors or something solid like that uh, of course this would be better for hand to hand knife fighting or something as long as they weren't wearing body armor uh, but yeah I, they kind of swindled me on this one I thought I was going to get the 4034 stainless but it says if you can see it there it says 4116 I'm not. I'm not that big of a. It's not that big of a deal, cause honestly, for the price, let's see. As you can see, right now this one's going for twenty three dollars and some odd cents, and you can see what the San Mai version is going for, like a hundred and fifteen dollars. So, uh, for twenty three dollars. This knife being full tang and coming with a, a nice sheath, I think it's well worth well worth it. Uh, the Tonto Light, even with this sheath, is probably worth $23 in my opinion. Uh, and, I, you know, you know Cold Steel usually comes razor sharp, but I'll, I'll give it a quick... Uh, it says the knife right there. I don't think this one's any less sharp. No, they're sharp, so that's one thing you get from cold steel always, usually, 90% of the time, except on some of their Mercedes, is you get a sharp knife. But yeah, I mean, I love these knives, and I'll tell you, with what the way things are going in the world nowadays, it wouldn't hurt to have one or both of them or multiple sets of them if you wanted to. 
keep some put up because you know you could you know you can, we can get one uh, taken from you or stolen or something but these are good like keep on your nightstand you know beside your pistol this is the perfect size for keeping somebody off you of you maybe while you're reloading or something I would use the gun first but either one of these would be nasty in getting somebody off of you but yeah I don't know I'm, I've always been kind of a partial to a Tonto and I really like these for the money for 20 you know $25 or less uh, I do believe they have the the Tonto in the newer style sheath though so I don't know a lot of people don't like it sometimes because it's harder to get it out of there and I guess seconds matter when you know somebody's breaking in your house but you know like I said this should not be your primary weapon if somebody breaks in your house it should be a, a gun and I think it's fine to have a gun in one hand and a knife in the other because you know knives don't run out of bullets And like I said, you can back somebody up with, <laughs> with a good knife like that. But yeah. I just wanted to show these off. Uh, I love budget knives anyway, so you can buy more of those. And these are good quality. I mean, made in Taiwan, made with German stainless, but really good quality. I mean... I don't think you're going to find a better quality fixed blade hardly for that price. So, just something to keep in mind, y'all. And I hope y'all have a good day. And God bless all of y'all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, share it, whatever you want to do, you know. But, the main reason I make them is just to make people aware of, you know, there's some good deals out there going on. And everybody has different tastes, but my taste has always been like tactical folders, tactical fixed blades, fighting knives, that type of thing. Uh, not, I know there's a whole genre of people <clears throat> that like classic knives, like case knives, slip joints, stuff like that. I've got a, you know, I think I might have one or two slip joints, you know, because I got some. I love the uh, Victorinox knives, so I've got quite a few of those, and they're great knives. You can't beat a Victorinox. Um, and I like collecting the classic SDs for the for the money. Those are those are awesome too. I mean, everybody ought to have one on their keychain because you never know when you need a pair of tweezers or a little pair of scissors or a toothpick or nail file or whatever you know you can't hardly beat those and the larger ones have great saws on them for for the size they are but yeah uh i mean arguably you could say a mora could be equal or maybe a better camp knife for less money but it's not going to be i don't think it's as robust as this one you know this one's full full tang and it's got some weight to it. They both do. And they're a good bit longer than most moors. But yeah, if you're just going camping, a moor is fine. But if you want something for self-defense for a budget EDC fixed blade, this is probably going to be the ticket. Something like that or something else. Uh, anyway, God bless y'all. Have a great week. Stay safe. Be vigilant. Always be alert. Put your head on a swivel, as they say on the, that one channel I like, Active Self Defense. That's a good channel. I'll give them a shout out. Because <laughs> Active Self Defense shows a lot of bad things happening out there. And there's a lot of bad people out there. I'm sure, I'm sure most of y'all know that. Yeah, you got to watch out for yourself and your family and your loved ones and everybody, so your friends. 
So like I said, God bless. Stay safe. Have a good week. Take care.